Makers try to apply pressure to make the so-called Bison Bridge a reality. That's the ambitious plan to convert the existing Interstate 80 bridge into a recreational area for walking and biking, as well as a home to bison. That's when the bridge is replaced eventually. Here is the bridge. It is old and will need to be replaced. Now members of the Illinois House Transportation Committee are discussing the future of the bridge and the future of the Bison Bridge project. Local force Sierra Krug joins us in the studio with the latest there. Sierra. Jim, the Bison Bridge project is the dream of Chad Pragraki. He's been pushing state lawmakers for the money to make it happen, and a consultant involved in the project shows us what's next. I've never owned a boat, never had in my life. Matt Hughes grew up in East Moline, seeing the Mississippi River every day. The river is such a part of the Quad Cities. Which is why he's passionate about repurposing the I-80 bridge. It's old, often thought of as too narrow for safe travel, and it's on the list to be replaced rather than having it demolished. It's definitely a out-of-the-box project. There's a plan to make it part of a natural area. It'll do good things for the community. The Illinois House Transportation Committee voted to recommend a resolution urging Governor J.B. Pritzker and the Illinois Department of Transportation to support the repurposing project. The economic development opportunities that exist with our proposal at, at this point are unlimited. It's definitely an opportunity to remake the identity of the Quad Cities. More than 38,000 people across the Quad Cities have signed a petition supporting creation of the Bison Bridge, bringing live bison, pedestrian walkways, and other tourist attractions to the old landmark. This type of uh, structure uh, with its, its connection to nature and reju rejuvenation and bringing uh, you know these you know majestic creatures into into our area once again. The representative sponsoring the proposal, hoping to get more lawmakers on board. We've put together a real good coalition of support with this thing on both sides of the river and both sides of the aisle. It's been widely supported uh, both in our community locally, throughout the state, and throughout the country. This project goes to the full General Assembly next week. Hughes also anticipates a bunch of exciting summer events to come, showing the community more about what the Bison Bridge project is all about. Live in the studio, Sierra Krug, Local 4 News. Sierra, thank you. A solid start to the year so far in terms of activity for the Quad Cities International.